What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone tuning in. I want to talk about a very, very tragic story in regards to a woman who was dating a guy. And instead of her just leaving the guy alone, you know, if it's not working out, go your separate ways. Instead, she decided to mow him over with her car. Now, her name is, I believe it's Yadeli or Yudel Berno. And her boyfriend was Shamato Clark. I believe he was a Jamaican born man who was working at the DOD, Department of Defense. It's very interesting. And from what I'm hearing, she, he wanted to break up with her and she could not take rejection. It, it reminds me of a story that I had done previously about a woman that caught her boyfriend cheating. I believe she put a GPS on his car and she tracked him down. He was with another woman. Instead of her just dumping the guy, breaking up with him, she decided to run him over with her car too. There's something about cars and women because this I have seen multiple stories of women running over their boyfriends with their cars. And I think this woman should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. She should get no slap on the wrist because she has a history all the way going back to 2005 of putting her hands on men. She's had domestic situations right because these ain't just men who are the abusive ones i want people to understand that women can be extremely abusive as well we have a lot of abusive women out here and they get away with it because they're women and nobody just like with the johnny depp situation you know he was with a woman who told him nobody would believe him because you know who's gonna believe a woman is hitting you and these women have gotten away with it for a very long time. And a lot of men have suffered, like Shimato suffered. And this woman, again, she could have walked away and she did not. Because if she can't have them, nobody can have them. So let's get into this article here from, I think it's meow.com. It says, a woman from Maryland was arrested and charged with deliberately taking the life of her boyfriend with her car. The woman has been identified as 38-year-old Yadel Berno. The woman's boyfriend has been identified as 40-year-old Shimato Clark, who worked with the Department of Defense. According to the Daily Mail, Yadel mowed down her lover with the car on August 20th. She has been charged with vehicular manslaughter with no bond status. Good, she should stay in jail. The publication shared that Prince George police department found Clark pinned underneath the vehicle. He was pronounced deceased at the scene. Yadel had a rap sheet of domestic violence to her name dating back to 2005. That's just dating back. This woman has probably been arrested numerous times because she can't control her temper. So she decides to take the life of this guy because she couldn't control it because she had gotten away with it for so long. She had gotten away with it for so long that it got to the point to where this happened. This should have never happened, never. This man should have never lost his life. But again, these women cannot take no for an answer. They cannot take you rejecting them. So what they'll do is they will use their car as a weapon, which we've seen numerous times. The Daily Mail revealed the incident took place around 8.45 p.m. on August 20th at the 6th 6100 block of Flora Park Road in Brandywine, Maryland area. The neighborhood is located approximately 22 miles from D.C. A press release was shared by the Prince George Police Department where they shed light on the incident. The cops were notified after they got a call from someone telling them a person was trapped underneath the car. According to Shimato Clark's Facebook page, he worked for the part worked with the Department of Defense. He hailed from Westmoreland, Jamaica but resided in Washington, D.C. His sister, Fiona Garcia, shared a touching message on Facebook saying, today has been the worst day of my life. I love you forever, big brother. Heaven couldn't wait for you, adding crying and heartbroken emojis while also sharing Clark's picture. You see, this is, um, this is becoming common in relationships today. There's a lot of toxic relationships out there. 
I don't know what it is. It's, it's like you have people who may be good people, but they attract toxic people. They attract toxic energy, right? And what happens is when that person attaches their energy to yours, they don't want to let go. They feed off of it. And that's what happened in this situation. Cause all, by all accounts, he seemed like a seemingly good dude working for the department of defense. And he's from Jamaica, right? And from what I know of Jamaicans, I, the Jamaicans, I do know they're, they're good people, you know? And, um, this shouldn't have happened. And I'm not going to say that, you know, this is all her because, you know, he could have walked away and maybe he he finally did. But you have to notice the red flags, because if you don't notice the red flags, then these type of things will escalate. I would not be surprised if he has had numerous problems with this woman for a long time and was never really able to get rid of her. Because, again, that's how women are. You know, when, when a woman gets with the guy they want to be with, they don't want to let him go. They don't want to let him go. And they want to continue to be with somebody that clearly does not want to uh, be with them. You see, a similar incident happened when a 25-year-old OnlyFans model, Courtney Clinney, took the life of her 27-year-old boyfriend, Christian Abumsley, in April 2022. Uh, cops received a call from Clinny at her luxurious apartment building at the 3131 Northeast 7th Avenue in Edgewater in Miami, Florida. This call was made at 5 p.m. on Sunday, April 3rd, when police found her boyfriend was stabbed once in the shoulder. In another incident, 31-year-old mother of two, Haley Keaton, was charged with taking the life of her boyfriend, boyfriend Matthew, who was 45, who died due to a single stab wound in his chest following an argument. The incident took place in the early morning hours of May 14th. However, she denied, she denied the allegations that she took the life of her boyfriend with a knife that she took from uh, the kitchen drawer. Keaton allegedly knifed her boyfriend after he choked her unconscious during a <laughs> rendezvous in the bedroom. Uh, bedroom play. And told 999 he's effing dying as he bled out. I want y'all to understand something, man. In a lot of these situations, I believe that the women and the men that they were with, they were in a toxic relationship. See, things, you know, what we got to understand is today, today, a lot of things get out quickly. If a woman is putting her hands on a guy or a guy's putting his hands on a woman, we're going to know about it relatively soon. Because if you were to ask uh, Christian Abumsley, who dated the OnlyFans model who took his life, they'll say that she was violent with him. And then there were there was a um, an elevator video of her putting hands on him, which is probably attributed to her getting ar arrested recently. She was putting hands on him in the in the elevator. This woman was just toxic abusive and and the thing is a lot of men deal with toxic abusive women and we just take it because we want to be with that woman so bad that we're willing to put up with the things that we go we're willing to put up with all this drama in order to be with this heifer and to me i just don't think that it's right that people laugh it off or think it's a joke no women be out here putting their hands on men all the time even men that they don't even know because there's this narrative that that men are just out here menacing women that's not true that's not true i saw a video of a woman who walked up on a random guy a, a melanated woman walked up on a random white dude on the street and just started twerking on him like we got to understand the propaganda and they love to protect these abusive women this woman should never get out of jail this woman is a danger to everyone around her, herself, and her children, because she has multiple children who lost their mother due to her emotional, irrational decision to run a guy over who she was in a relationship with, who she had probably claimed to love out of pure emotion. Why? Because he rejected you? You should live for your children. You should live for yourself. 
you should not get selfish and and get emotional and irrational and decide that you're going to run him over because if you can't be with him nobody can be with him because you felt rejected i have seen numerous stories of women using their cars as a weapon okay because of their anger because of whatever issues that they may have we have a lot of untreated mental illness going on out here and i'm not trying to blame mental illness for this because this woman did this on purpose but a lot of these people are mentally unstable i mean look at this woman a lot of these people are mentally unstable and we have to have these conversations these women are just as crazy as people want to claim men are but they're more dangerous because they can go under the radar nobody's gonna believe a woman will be capable of the things that they get accused of but this woman was capable of doing this and she did it so rest easy to uh shimato and his family i appreciate y'all tuning in make sure y'all like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all the next one